Welcome back to Z Tutorials and today we're looking at how to customize the rocket dock that we downloaded in the last tutorial. If you didn't see that one make sure you click on the link in the description to see that. We're going to customize all the icons here just like you see in front of you. So let's get started. <laughs> Now all my icons here that you see before you have been customized. Basically you just download them and make them your own. So let's just open up a web browser here. In my case once again it is Google Chrome. We're going to type in Rocket Dock. The first option there is rocketdock.com. We're going to click on that and we're going to brought to the website. We're going to go to get add-ons with exclamation mark for emphasis. Then we're going to go down and look at the popular ones. As you can see you've simply dark. So what do you want to do? We'll do the safari icon there. It looks kind of boring and old so let's spruce that baby up. Uh, Frostware was my last search so let's go into safari and it came up with a couple searches but I like this first one. It says seven animated icons for safari. It's rated good and it's just scroll down to it says download file with an exclamation mark once again for emphasis and it's going to give you this .zip file which means you're going to have to extract, extract it which means you need WinRAR or 7-zip or something like that so we're going to show this in the folder and I'm just going to paste this onto my uh, desktop so I know where it is so I just pasted that in now we're going to right click and go extract here and it's going to extract that folder and right here we're going to go into the folder that contains it there we go so now I know where it is we're going to get out of this browser and we're going to go into the main menu and right on rocket dock you're going to right click on the icon but first if you want to customize the dock itself just right click on a blank space and go to dock settings now it's going to give you all these so you got the general it's going to ask you language you want to make sure that run at startup is checked that's very very important so that you won't have to run it every time then you can change opacity all that kind of stuff there's loads of options here you guys um, position so you can mount this to the bottom that looks pretty good too but I think I'm gonna leave mine at the top uh, you can put style position behavior if it bounces or whatever I like mine bouncing just like the Mac one so now let's change this icon so let's right click on the icon and go to icon settings these are the ones I already have loaded but if you want to add a new icon like we're doing the one I just downloaded on the right here on the left sorry you just click on the plus icon we're gonna search for that little button uh, I think I put it in downloads and it's in not animated. Okay, just click OK on that. And then here are your images. So let's just click the first one there. It looks pretty good. They're all pretty much the same, just a different kind of glow. And you can name it down here in the properties. Uh, you can put all kinds of stuff in there, but we're just going to leave it at Safari. And then just click OK. And as you can see, the icon has already changed. And now that looks much, much better than the original. And basically you can do this for all your icons and make it look really cool. And there when I clicked it bounced and then it opened it up. Just like a Mac. So it looks really really cool. I have to say Mac did a really good job by creating this. And well done to Rocket Dock as well for creating this alternative for Windows users. So thank you all for watching. This was my tutorial on Rocket Dock. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did make sure you hit the thumbs up button. And make sure you hit that yellow subscribe button above. That really helps me out. And you'll see loads and loads of my videos. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.